Oh yes, that's rather interesting, yes. Oh, 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 hello there. Fancy seeing you here. Welcome to another splendiferous episode of The Tea Drinker. As you can tell, I am your host, The Tea Drinker. And on today's splendiferous episode, I bring to you one of the most well-known teas around here. Why, you might even say it's one of the best. <laughs> Sorry, my beard's falling down. Now, today's tea of choice is rather wonderful PG Tips. You can get this in a variety of different sizes. This one is the 160 Pyramid Tea Bag variety. Because, well, it's got Pyramid Tea Bags in. Mmm, splendid for us. You can also get them in circular tea bag format too if you want. And you can also get them in a smaller size if 160 bags is not your cup of tea. Excuse the pun. Well, the kettle is boiling as I speak, so let's go and make this cup of tea. Well, the kettle's almost boiled now, but as you can see, I've gone for the two sugar approach in this cup of tea. Because as you know, I'm not quite a sweet enough person. And I decided to use a rather large mug for this particular cup of tea too. Because I feel that PG Tips does deserve that. Aha! Kettle is boiled, so... Let's go and pour some water then, shall we? Aha! There we go. Now, as you can see, I'm using 1% fat milk for this particular cup of tea, as indicated by the purple top here. It tastes exactly the same as semi-skimmed milk, but it has less of the fat. What more could you want, eh? There we go, dunking the old tea bag in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, what I like to do is let the tea bag simmer a little bit, and then add the milk. So let's go and do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> add the milky into the tea. And as you can tell, I have it quite milky too. Oh, don't ask me why, I just do. Mmm, <coughs> cup of tea, almost ready to drink. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, the cup of tea is ready to drink now. But how will it taste? Well, I will be finding out right now, because here's our nice little cup of PG dips. How will it fare against the other teas I've tried? There's only one way to find out. Tatty ho, boys! Toodle Pipsky. Mmm. Oh, exquisite. Mmm. Oh, PG Tips, you two work wonders on my mouth. Mmm. A nice, subtle blend of tea is blended into this nice little cup. The sugar really adds to the sweetness of it all. But there's a nice little hint of strength behind it too. Not too much, it doesn't blow your head off like other cups of tea I've tried. <laughs> beard falls down again. Now, as you can probably tell, some of my beard has gone into the cup of tea, but I feel that adds to the flavour. Now, naturally, you can't have a cup of tea without a biscuit, and for this particular cup of tea, my biggie of choice happens to be a hobnob. So, let's give a hobnob a go. Ho ho! Lovely! I do like dunking biggies. Excuse me. Mmm! Ah. You didn't see that? Mmm! Yes. Well, this hobnob really complements the PG tip as well. Mmm! It's not too sweet. It's got a nice oaty texture to it. And personally, I do like a damn good cup of PG tips. So, well, as a final verdict, I think I'm going to go and give PG Tips here a nice spiffing 9 out of 10. I think you can find it in most supermarkets around this area, and if you can't, then get your local buddy or chum to pop to their local shop and get a box or two, because I feel it is very well worth it. So, haha, -ha, that was another episode of The Tea Drinker. I do hope you liked it, because I certainly did. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to finish this cup of tea. Tatty bye, until next time. I must sort my beard out. Hmm.